okay guys so in today's video we are going to do some questions that are related to inventory system so remember on the previous video where we were treating a ledger account a purchase account as well as a trading account however this is not the only style that you have to expect when you write your test or examination under inventory system you also have to make sure that you are able to answer some question you are able to calculate a markup you are able to calculate a cost of sales as well so this is what we are going to do today without wasting any further time let's read our question it was question one from the question paper that was written in 2019 okay inventory system the information provided below relate to business run by s sitole this business is only shop that sell a school uniform in each local area okay then required 1.1 they said as Citole has chosen to implement the inventory system to calculate this business cost of sales remember we have a two different method on how we can uh, record our inventory system you must be able to know the difference between perpetual inventory system and periodic inventory system as we discussed on the previous video okay so i'm going to give you further detail if you haven't watched part one okay number one they said name the other stock system that can be used remember sitole is using a periodic inventory system now on question 1.1.1 they want us to identify other method than periodic inventory system which is perpetual inventory system that's the answer for 1.1 okay 1.1.1 perpetual inventory system okay then question 1.1.2 discuss a reason why Citole decided not to use this method why Citole decided not to use perpetual inventory system reason number one this method guys is very expensive it's very expensive because remember you have to buy a computer install some software so that uh, those software will be able to calculate a cost of sales on each point of sales so he chose uh, he didn't decide to choose this method because it's very expensive number one number two the other reason might be this method is time consuming if we are using this uh, inventory system guys we have to go into a system and update each and every single item that we are selling so that the system will know that the cost of sales of this item is so much so it's going to take a lot of time so that's why he decided not to choose this method okay then let's proceed 1.2 calculate the cost of sales for the year ended 28 february using a periodic inventory system remember if we are using a perpetual inventory system a system calculates a cost of sales for us but under a periodic inventor system we have to calculate it manually using a a formula okay so this is what we are going to do for 12 marks we are going to calculate a cost of sales all right so before we start with this calculation guys the first step is to know the formula that we are going to use okay when you calculate a cost of sales under the periodic inventory system you have to say opening balance of stock okay you can say opening stock plus purchase a purchase is remember you have to use a net purchase which means that if there is a further detail we are going to add some we are going to subtract because we are looking for net balance that you calculated for example if you use t account we are looking for the net balance after you have subtracted 
all those donations and all those other written amount okay then we have a carriage on purchase okay then after that you less a closing stock okay then it's gonna give you a cost of sales a carriage on purchase is simple uh, the same way as a transport cost is the same okay let's check our information information they said the balances or the total in the general ledger they give us amount for 28 february 2017 which is our closing balance and they give us 1 march 2016 which is our opening balance okay a stock of school uniform a opening balance they give us 34,000 they give us 34,000 okay but closing they didn't give us which means that we have to calculate okay then number a additional information school uniform are only item bought on credit by this business okay they are indicating that we have to be aware of creditors control the suppliers charge 500 per delivery okay 19 separate orders were made and delivery during the course of the year okay one delivery we pay 500 which means that under a carriage on purchase, we have to take 500 and we multiply by 19. Okay, let's see your calculation here. 500 multiply by 19. Okay, if you do calculation, let's calculate, you're gonna get amount of 9,005. 9, hundred for carriage on purchase okay we're gonna come back on purchase now all right then they said a creditors were paid amount of 424,570 we open a bracket because we're still going to face some additional information okay it's gonna be 24 24 570 okay then they said four shares with the cost price of 80 rand each were damaged and therefore returned to supplier okay this return has not been recorded they uh, return a four shares and the cost price was 80 rand which means that we have to say four multiplied by 80 okay if you say four multiplied by 80 it's gonna give you 300 rand every time we have to subtract guys we have to subtract okay because we're no longer uh, going to do it to pay this uh, uniform to our supplier because we return to them okay and then let's proceed number e old stock valued uh, 12,000 were donated to child home which means that we're not going to sell this item we, we we are going to do what to subtract it under our purchase remember when we open a t account for purchase we record it on the credit side which is going to reduce what we record on the debit side of purchase okay we're gonna say minus twelve thousand. simple as that okay now again they said after performing the year end stock 275 items of closing were on hand at average of 90 rand each so this is our closing stock we have to say 275 multiplied by 90 so that we can get total value 275 multiplied by 90 rand per item and if you do that calculation you're gonna get a 24,750. Remember, a closing stock we said you have to less. 
you have to subtract you have to indicate by a bracket okay now before we go to our closing uh, amount which is going to be cost of sales the last one remember uh, if you check on top we have a creditors control amount on the table okay we have the first the first one of the current year this is the one that we purchase in the current year which means that it's going to be part of purchase we are going to add it as 96 thousand however the one that reflects amount of last year which is 103 thousand we have to subtract it why that amount has already been paid which means that it's no longer for part of purchase of current year we have to deduct that amount of uh, 103 thousand okay let me just go here minus 103 thousand okay this bracket is a bit longer so you also have to learn how to prepare a purchase account is also important make sure that you go back and watch part one so that you can learn how to prepare a purchase account as well okay now let's get the balance for purchases it's gonna be if you calculate all this amount you add whatever that must be added and you subtract you're gonna get four or five 250 simple it's our net purchase and now we have to add everything and subtract a closing balance okay if you do that you're gonna get amount of 424,000. simple as that guys simple as that so if you have any question make sure that you you comment i answer immediately when you comment just tell me if you are still struggling or you want some understanding for for this part please don't forget to subscribe guys let uh, this channel grow more and more and also like this video so that when i upload any grade 11 video they are going to send you a notification because you like a video that is related to to grade 11 okay then now let's go to 1.3 mc tolle Sales for financial year ending 28 February amounted to 742,000. Now they said, calculate a markup that is applied to his school uniform. Okay, number 1.3.2. What's your opinion on the markup? Okay, they give us a sales amount, and remember, we have a cost of sales. So it is important to get a cost of sales, guys, so that you can get the following uh, balances okay now when we calculate a markup we have to use a formula 1.3.1 what's the formula for markup you have to say a gross profit divided by cost of sales and you multiply by 100 now because you have sales amount and you also have cost of sales uh, um, cost of sales amount you can get a gross profit by subtracting sales to cost of sales okay so if you say it, amount of sales of 720 minus 424,000 you are going to get a gross profit of 318,000 then you divide by a cost of sales of 424,000 and you multiply by 100 to get 318 guys you take 742000 of sales and you subtract what cost of sales amount then you will get this one simple okay then our markup will be 75% if you punch this on your calculator it will be 75% then the following question now is that what is your opinion on this markup give a reason for your answer okay what do you think about this markup okay as you can see this markup is 75 percent 
is 75 over 100. Reason number one, uh, remember this question have how many marks? Three marks. Yes, they have a three marks, which means that you have to lay down a three point. Number one, you have to say the markup is very high. Okay, and number two, remember this guy is selling a uniform. A uniform is a must for you as a student to wear it when you go to to school and remember they say that this is the only person who is selling a uniform into his uh, place so which means that a parents they don't have a choice but to buy a uniform because he is the only one who is selling uh, this uniform okay it's like he's trading as a monopoly you know what is a monopoly right where you don't have a what a competitor okay which means that the customers, they don't have a choice. Customers do not have a choice. They have to buy this uniform. Okay. Then another one, uh, what we can say is that uh, Sitole is taking advantage, of course, because he is the only one who is selling this uniform. He is taking advantage uh, because... Um, there is no other place that uh, the customers will go and do it and buy a uniform. That's the reason number number three. Okay, what can we conclude about this? It depends on your choice. What you can say, the first one is that this is good for, for the owner, right? Because the owner is getting a higher profit. It's good for the owner, but what about the buyer? Is bad. Remember, not everyone who can afford expensive uniform. A uniform is a need for, for 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 learners. It's a need. So, which means that on the hands of the owner, this is good because he's making a good profit. But on the hands of the customers, this is not good at all. Okay. So that's it for for this video, guys. So I hope you enjoy. You learn something. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. If you are here for the first time, we always upload videos from grade 10 up to university level. Make sure that you subscribe so that at least when you go to the next level, you will be able to learn more videos like this and like that and like that. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time.